Hey church family, thank you for joining us uh, for today's Daily Connection video. We are continuing to talk about how God has never abandoned us. And we are seeing this transfer of power from Moses to Joshua. We have seen how uh, throughout this whole conversation as Moses is talking to the people here in just a moment, speaking to Joshua in front of the people, that Moses is pointing to God as their true leader. That while Joshua is leading, it is God who is in control. God who will give them strength. God who will give them victory. And now Moses is going to call Joshua up in front of everyone and give Joshua a, uh, a encouragement. And it's an encouragement that goes way back to, to Genesis whenever we see it. Uh, a, a reminder of all of the history of God and his people. And so let's look here in Deuteronomy uh, Chapter 31, verse 7. It says, Moses then summoned Joshua and said to him, In the sight of all Israel, be strong and courageous, for you will go with this people into the land the Lord swore to give to their ancestors. You will enable them to take the possession of it. So obviously, man, what a great honor for Joshua to be used by the Lord to have the people go into the land um, that, that, that he had promised them. But let's look at that promise. I think that promise is also important. And he's talking about a covenant that God made with Abraham, specifically uh, the covenant for them to take the promised land, the land of Canaan, that it would be given to the Israelites. Now, uh, whenever we see covenants uh, in scripture, we really see two different types of covenants. Uh, one type is an unconditional covenant. The other type is a conditional covenant. So conditional covenants uh, were things like, I will bless you if you do this thing, right? If you do what I'm requiring of you. And God made conditional covenants with his people, but God also made unconditional covenants. And those are covenants that did not depend on the actions of the people. God said he was going to do it, and he was going to do it. And whenever God promised the land of Canaan to Abraham and his ancestors, that was a unconditional covenant. He promised him that land promised him that he would be their God and they would be his people. And so Moses is reminding Joshua that, hey, this land belongs to the Lord and this land belongs to us because God has promised. He made a unconditional covenant with us to give us this land. So we can be strong. We can be courageous. We don't have to have fear. We don't have to worry about whether we're going to be victorious. The victory has already been won. The battle is over because God has said that this will be ours. Uh, and so Joshua and the people of Israel could walk into battle. They could walk into the land of Canaan with confidence, truly with faith in God, that he would keep his promises. In the same way it, it was with the Israelites, it is the same way with us. God has made promises to us, namely, that if we call upon the name of the Lord, we will be saved, right? And what a promise. Uh, what a promise. He has offered that gift of grace freely as well. It, it is unconditional, right? There's nothing we have to do to earn that. In fact, there's nothing we could do to earn that. No, he has given it to us freely. And we can rest in that promise and have faith in the Lord because he has been faithful to us. Our author gives us a couple of questions that we can look at. The first, when do you struggle to trust God? When are there times in your life when you have struggled to trust God? And then the second question, why can we have courage even when we face challenges? And again, that comes back to the promises of God. That comes back to his faithfulness to us. We can have courage. We can know that he is sovereign, that he is in control because he has promised us that he is. Uh, Church family, I hope that you live your life on the promises of the Lord, knowing that he is in control, having faith in him, trusting him with your life. And as you do that, we want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.